can't explain it I'm into you And every little thing you do Never felt the way about no dude Believe it when I say that I'm feeling you It's so hard to find Someone who's true and kind Kind in every way like To my body, soul and mind Is it true that I'm all you need? Is it true that you are the one for me? Is it true? welcome back to my channel so jumping right into the video um from the title you can see that i told you guys that this is my favorite slash best 360 lace wig customization slash best wig from rpghair.com okay <laughs> i'm so excited excited doing this video today this is the big density 360 lace frontal wigs and it's water wave virgin brazilian human hair okay this is um of a natural color it's 18 inches long it's 180 percent in density and it's a small um, cap size it's smaller than the other caps that i usually take for my wigs and the knots are bleached yes as usual i'm not used to getting my wigs in this texture usually i have to buy bundles or usually i receive bundles of curlier textures i don't usually get wigs with this um type of curl pattern it's amazing and i love the fact that it's very full it's not like sparse or anything so right off the bat i was feeling this wig like before i even customize it so basically i get like a rat tail comb and i make sure to part out like little v's this is kind of different from what i usually do usually i just part a line and then plop it behind it but i'm parting these like small these in the hairline there and plucking with my fingers you know sometimes it's it's kind of easier for me to just do this especially since the lace is um already bleached now you're seeing there that it immediately it has a, a, a more a thinner look there and that's what we're going for because we want the hairline to look as realistic as possible so i feel like doing small v's can still mimic the actual hairline and you know make everything come off um natural looking and i don't take very big chunks within the portion that i part of because i don't want to rip the lace or you know destroy it or whatever and this is pretty much how it looks once i'm finished um i do the same thing for the back but i didn't really stress the back that much but i did it a little bit just because i know that i want to wear this in a ponytail sometimes and you know a 360 wig is just always convenient for that you know if you want to put up the hair or whatever so yeah that's what i'm doing here like it feels it's so soft as I said before, I love the fact that it's um, curly and as, it, as I mentioned, it's water wave. So when it's wet or damp, oh, it's like, it's so beautiful. But yeah, so now that I'm done with that, I just proceed to cutting off the excess lace because you want to do this after you're done with customizing the wig and not before because trust me, it's just not going to be easy if you do it in that order so i'm just cutting it and i'm taking my time because you don't want to cut any of the hair so cut it and just and be very careful But these are the adjustable straps in the back here and as you can see sometimes when you adjust them you get a little excess um from the cap there like extra space so what i do is just sew it down and make everything flat so you put it on you try it onto your head you adjust the straps and if you have um extra um cap um wait and say no if the if if the wig cap is kind of hanging off you just kind of you know bend it over like what i'm doing here and you sew it down so that you don't have any bumps or lumps when you're ready to catch it up or even when you just put it on and once i'm done with that that's it so now i'm going to try on the wig and as you can see i was so excited here um i'm using my got to be ultra glue as usual and i already applied some to my hairline i made that tacky and now i'm applying the wig and i'm just taking my time and make sure making sure that everything is really flat in the back 
and this is how we're looking it's not even you know secured down yet properly or anything and it's looking pretty good i feel like definitely whether it's a wig or just bundled curly textures are just like my favorite to wear over straight or any other texture i just love curly textures because it just feels like it's a little bit more me especially since i have naturally curly hair i mean my hair is definitely you know of a tighter curl pattern but i just i'm more comfortable with curly textures so i'm customizing the edges here and I'm kind of just cutting shorter portions in the front to my liking. So when I'm ready to lay the edges, you know, they won't be too long. And now I'm taking some more of my got to be glue to just kind of swoop around my edges. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this part if you do not wish. I know some people are against it and they just don't like it. But you know, to each his own. So if it's not your thing, you can definitely skip this step and move on all right so now that i'm done with that i go ahead and secure the front there with um a scarf and just to make sure that we have extra security and the first hairstyle that i'm gonna go ahead and do is a bun <laughs> so oh my gosh you see how nice the hair looks it's so full and luscious it's beautiful no, I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's really not anything special. I'm just putting it up in a ponytail. And it's a, like, it's a messy bun. I, I prefer messy buns over anything else. Like, if it's going to be a super snatched bun, it's going to be my natural hair. <laughs> like, yeah. So, I secure it up in the top of my head. And I just wrap around the ends there. And I secure it with a pin. That's how it looks when I take off the scarf. Yeah, pretty messy and just playful looking. Nothing neat. Um, that was what I was going for. And this is how it looks in the back. Yep, it's really, really secure on my head. And that I love. I love that. Alright, so the second thing that I did, the second style, is just I took it out of the bun basically. And I just let the ends do their thing and this is how it looks <laughs> i feel like this wig will be so versatile not just because it's 360 but also because of the edges and the fact that you know it's it's of a curly texture you know <laughs> Alright, so now I'm doing the final style and I'm taking this um, curling spray. I don't remember the name, but I put it in the description box. I'm just spraying this all over the wig so I can get it nice and damp. And I'm making a part there. I'm just gonna, you know, kind of let it down and show you guys how it looks when it's damp. So I'm just spraying this all over. And oh lord, as I spray the waves, the curls, everything just comes to life more. I'm loving the way the edges is looking like it's beautiful. I don't know. I hope you guys understand how much. Like, I love this wig. I love it. I don't know how much time I said this already in another video. <laughs> I really don't want to annoy you guys. But this is the reason why the title is what it is. <laughs> But yeah, oh yeah guys, this is of a Brazilian texture as I mentioned before. Look, look, look. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, hair flip. Yes. I was like, yo, I love it. <laughs> if you guys are interested in this wig, all the details will be in the description box. Don't forget to use my code FALL10. And I have a code specifically for all the Brazilian textured wigs on RPG here. It's SU15. Okay, so you can also go ahead and use that to get dollars off. SU15 if you're buying a Brazilian textured wig. And FALL10 for the general purchases. So, yeah, you get 10% off with fall 10 and 15% off with Sue 15. I was just I was just feeling the wig right here as you guys can see. But this is pretty much the end. 
of this video if you're interested in seeing a makeup to, um, look um, similar to this I'll link uh, my makeup routine down below in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>